The following video is suitable for all audiences. Minors do projects under adult supervision. Switch on the light. Alexa, switch off the light. Hello there. I hope everyone is doing absolutely fine and safe in the ongoing pandemic. So in this video, I'm going to show you about the WLED RGB pixel controller. So if you follow this project, you can do it yourself and you can use it for your festivals like Christmas, Diwali or for that matter, any, any project. So let's get started. In this project, I have used a VMOS D1 Mini, which has a ESP8266 chip. You can also use Node MCU, which is the most commonly used board. And can either use jumper wires or soldering if you are good with soldering. Okay, this video is quite long, so I could not cut it short because there are some things which I have to show. 1 minute 45 seconds, it's about wiring. 2 minutes 35 seconds it's about the downloads and the installation 3 minutes 29 seconds it's about Wi-Fi setup 4 minutes 26 seconds it's about the WLED settings and 6 minutes 32 seconds is all the effects you can either use jumper wires or solder the wires directly onto your board whichever is convenient for you and use the circuit which I have shown and for further details you can also check my instructables you can also go into the github page for the WLED and you will have much more details about this project so this is a simple way through which you can do it and for the advanced mode you can go into the details wherein you can go to the website and can go ahead and check what are the options available for you so now just go into the release section and download the latest one i downloaded the 0.9 version so i'm sure there is a 0.10 version which has come up recently just download the dot behind file and you also need to install node mcu py flasher on your pc if it's a windows it will be a dot exe file and if it's and Apple you can download the .dmg file all the links would be provided in my video description so need not worry about that once the board is connected to your PC it will install the drivers usually you need to select com6 or com that's what it shows up on my computer and then select the destination file which you want to flash on the board and select erase flash option to erase anything which is already there on the board and then click on flash node mcu so once done it will say firmware successfully in flashed so unplug and replug the device and go to your wi-fi connection on your phone or pc you will see wled ap and so the default password is wled1234 you will get an option of a setup screen and now you need to enter your own wi-fi username and wi-fi password you can also assign a static gateway that's kind of an optional thing or if you want you can do that and then click on save so now the page will close and your phone will connect back to your home network you can also install the WLED app from the play store or the app store so install the WLED app from the play store or the Apple store and then click on discover lights you will get an option and therein you will see your Wi-Fi LED which is there on that specific gateway which is assigned by your router
once you click on that you can go into the led setup and enter the number of leds you want to connect in my case i have 38 so i have entered 38 leds i also kept the brightness to 255 that is the maximum and as an experiment i have put 1500 milliamps current supply you can mention more if you have a beefy power supply and this is running on 5 volts adapter You can select the color wheel. You can divide segments. I made two segments of 19 each because I already had the setup earlier, so I'm using the same one. And now you can go into the effects section, and there are different variations. So now let's see all the cool effects. So actually if I tell you the video is not doing justice to this but trust me it looks very good and very beautiful and if you can put this in any lamp it will look really nice. The best I liked is the fire effect and it looks amazing.
Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications for my upcoming videos. Take care.